Conformity in a business workplace. Effects of conformity. Some of the effects of conformity on employees in a business workplace are not necessarily good. Conformity can cause employees to lose their sense of identity and worth within their company. Um, however, conformity can increase employees' ability to work together and it causes uh, way faster production and efficiency of the company as a whole. Perspectives. So I have three main perspectives. So you can look at it from the perspective of the workers, from the businesses, and also from the consumers for whatever perspective business. Differing views. So for there's for these different views, you have uh, the perspective of the workers. Conformity is not good because of the loss of identity as well as a lower sense of self-worth and a diminishing mental health. Um, from the perspective of a business, uh, conformity is good because it increases productivity, which means an increase in profit for the company. And then when you look at it from consumers, conformity is great. Conformity is fantastic because it means that uh, lower prices and an influx of supply, which is good for the economy. So what are other ways that this can be good? So in this type of environment, conformity can be a good thing since it uh, causes people to work together and get things done faster. Um, when people get things done faster, it makes more profit for the company, as I said earlier. And generally, management is happier, which can lead to better relations with employees. Also, another benefit is that the economy does well whenever employees uh, on a wide scale are able to get things done faster. Now, how can this be bad? So it can be extremely bad for workers and their mental health, health because workers lose their sense of identity and, like I said, their worth within the company. Um, when all of the people are working together and doing the same thing, workers have a hard time to see their own importance within the company and how they benefit the company. Uh, another reason why it's bad is because it's create, it creates what's called groupthink. So groupthink is basically where people will just agree with um, whatever the majority thinks and never challenges the majority. And if you don't challenge the majority, it's hard to improve. Um, so when groups are working on the uh, same thing, people tend to just agree with whoever takes charge. And this strips away the ability to hear thoughts of others. Statistics. So as you can see in this chart here, we have um, uh, collaboration, respect of individuality, uh, demand, demanding conformity, and coerciveness. Uh, so where the red dot is, is approximately where we are now, and where the blue dot is, is where we should be. So in most companies, they pretty much demand conformity because of the benefits like uh, cooperation and things like that, but they don't uh, respect individuality as much as they should. Um, now, as you can see, I don't have the blue dot all the way on the respecting individuality side because conformity can be good in some senses uh, as it also uh, encourages coll collaboration and things like that. In support of this notion, several studies have found that synchrony can promote conformity, aggression, and destructive obedience. For example, studies on synchrony and conformity found that synchrony made people more likely to copy majority of opinions when selecting products rather than following their personal preferences, says Geffland in the cultural evolutionary trade-off of ritualistic synchrony. What can this cause? Um, so although if conformity is not present, uh, the economy can have a huge crash. So like I was saying earlier, conformity being present can help boost the economy. It's the same, uh, the same way inversely. So if you take conformity away and um, workers are not working together uh, as much, then they can, uh, the economy can have a, a huge crash because then the demand becomes higher than the supply. Uh, when the demand is higher than the supply, prices will skyrocket and the U.S. can potentially enter into a depression. Um, the reason why the supply would be lower is because the produ production and efficiency would be at an all-time low without conformity 
And uh, so basically there are, although conformity, uh, it can be good, it also has a lot of issues that rise um, with and without it. Solutions. To solve some of the problems prevalent um, uh, with conformity in a business workplace, it would not be smart to get rid of conformity entirely, but rather to just make sure and encourage individuality without discrediting collaboration. Um, to make this happen, it will require a nationwide movement away from conformity in which businesses all across the country would implement new policies and standards that would encourage these things for the mental health of employees. Thank you. More exciting. So um, it actually went in the complete opposite direction that I was originally intending it to. I was going, my original question was uh, how does it, how does conformity um, hurt a business workplace? But then it changed to what are the effects of conformity on a business work, in a business workplace? Because I found that although it does hurt some aspects, it is also necessary in others. So, yeah. Next thirty second question. What might be the real world implications or consequences of your findings? And what are the implications to your community? So um, the real world implications would probably be uh, if we move too far away from um, conformity and where we lose collaboration and efficiency and productivity uh, starts to go down. Like I said in my presentation, that can end catastrophically with a potentially a depression in the United States with an economy crash. <laughs>